In times of change, the learners inherit the earth while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. So to be a learner is kind of the environment or the realm of curiosity and humility. Ego is the other way. So I want you to be more deliberate than reflexive about being a beginner, humble and curious. Awareness of reflexive tendencies. And if we're not aware of that subtle difference, then we're, we're not gonna be applying ourselves to the degree to which we're a potential lies. The difference between reflexive and deliberate. So how do I get you to do something that's less than comfortable? What do you need? Incentive, motivation, purpose. And purpose, of course, compels us to do anything great in our lives. It requires purpose. That means you have to have a visceral connection to what it is that you're trying to do that's gonna require more effort, which is why this is really powerful because this is gonna resonate with you and we're gonna connect that feeling with a thought. That thought is gonna to lead to action. We're gonna use this metaphor in a really powerful way. And we've distributed over 73,000 hands in over 93 countries. And the number of recipients has surpassed our ability to get those hands to them. And so there's now a waiting list of 1,600 people that are waiting for these hands. Seeing the videos and knowing exactly what the hand is going towards gave us more of a sense of purpose, but it also made us realize like, you're not doing something for yourself. Just good enough isn't acceptable. As we were going through this exercise, if you look at the picture on the wall, those were the first um, eight nurses. They were actually using their hands, and so it was a very poignant observation that as we were doing this activity, and that one hour of our time here can really make a lifetime impact. I've probably been to about 100 community service team building events, but honestly, I don't think one touched me more than today. We not only had a great time, but we learned a lot about what it's like to work as a team and to give back to our community. When I look at the words of the credo, and it's what, what's brought me to j, j it's what keeps me at j, j I think about days like today and having the privilege of really making an impact in the world, which leads me to the next thing I want to say, Bill. Uh, this is a man who's given his entire life to doing good for people, to the credo. And I think about um, how much waste there would have been if he was sitting in an office doing finance. To have given his life to, to helping others, to give somebody the valuable gift of a hand, I can't imagine a greater gift you could give anyone. And speaking of gifts, I feel grateful for the gift of leading all of you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for coming today and for all that you do.